We have made countless videos explaining whether or not to invest in private equity as an asset class. But in this video, we will focus specifically on private equity fund investing. We will go over the pros of private equity fund investing, and then we'll go over the cons of private equity fund investing. And we'll end this video with a final thought. So let's get started by talking about the pros of private equity fund investing. Now, as an investor, let's say you've already decided to invest in private equity. Well, great. Why hire a private equity firm to help you? Well, the first reason is expertise. There are many private equity firms around the world that have specific expertise that you may want to access. For example, let's look at a firm that we haven't talked about in any of our previous videos, and that's EQT, the large private equity firm that was started in 1994 from the inspiration of the Swedish Wallenberg family and has the expertise to invest in all stages, all the way from the startup stage to the maturity stage through its funds such as EQT Ventures, EQT Growth, which was launched last year, and of course, EQT Private Equity. Now, EQT also has other offerings, such as offerings in infrastructure, EQT Infrastructure, in real estate, EQT Exeter. The reason for this name is that earlier this year, EQT bought North American real estate firm, Exeter. EQT also has an offering focused on sustainability, EQT Future, a fund that has three key objectives defined by three Ps, the planet, people, and prosperity. And EQT also has an offering called EQT Public Value, where EQT tries to apply the private equity mindset to the public markets. Now, EQT is just one example of a private equity firm that has quite a lot of expertise across various stages of private equity, as well as other alternative asset classes. Now, the point I'm trying to make is that a pro of private equity fund investing is that you are able to leverage the private equity firm's expertise. So let's move on to our second pro of private equity fund investing, and that would be increased returns. Now, increased returns would depend on the actual private equity fund that you would be investing in. And it's very difficult to choose a private equity fund to invest in. So to help you with this, I would highly recommend that you review our video from last week titled, Seven Things to Look For When Investing in a Private Equity Fund. And the third pro of private equity fund investing would be diversification. When compared to direct investing, Investing through a fund can offer you the scale to invest in more companies than you probably could on your own. Well, it would depend on how much capital you have, but usually by private equity fund investing, you're able to get diversification. So let's move on to the cons of private equity fund investing. The first is liquidity. As you probably remember from our previous videos, most private equity funds are roughly 10 years in length. And while as an investor, you can sell your private equity fund commitment on the secondary market, as we discussed in our video titled Private Equity Secondaries, private equity funds are definitely not as liquid as public equity funds. The second con is access. Many private equity firms have minimum investment requirements to access their private equity funds. Now, while more and more wealth managers and banks are doing a better job at grouping their clients together to gain access to specific private equity funds that have high minimums, the issue of access still exists when you are talking about traditional private equity funds. And the third con is fees. We talked about management fees, performance fees, and other details about fees in our video titled, how do private equity firms make money? So I'll leave that topic for now. Now, here's a final thought. Investors, when it comes to transparency and consistency of reporting in private equity, well, 
It's a challenge. After all, as pointed out by a recent paper by Darden Business Publishing out of the University of Virginia, some 50% of private equity funds can qualify for upper quartile status. Now, let me repeat that so it sinks in. 50% of private equity funds may claim to be in the top 25% of private equity funds. So how is this even possible? Well, when making a comparison to the industry, you need a benchmark. In private equity, there are three main benchmarking services, PitchBook, Cambridge Associates, and Prequin. Now, how do benchmarking services get their data? Well, unlike public firms, private firms are not required to report their performance. So benchmarking services get their data from private equity firms that choose to report it. Well, this brings up an issue of selection bias, but let's leave that for another time. But let's focus back on the benchmarks and how they're used for comparison. Because of the variations in the different benchmarks by the nature of how they collect data, some private equity funds can actually choose specific benchmarks that might put them in a more favorable light. Now, while this is great for a private equity fund, well, it makes the investor's job to do due diligence that much harder. So investors, there are pros and cons to private equity fund investing. But if you're planning to invest in a private equity fund, please know that you need to conduct detailed due diligence. In this video, we focus specifically on private equity fund investing. We went over the pros of private equity fund investing, and we went over the cons of private equity fund investing. If you can think of another pro or another con to private equity fund investing, please write your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please click the like and subscribe buttons. And in the description below, you'll find links to our unique private equity newsletter that provides exclusive commentary on recent private equity deals, as well as our website and our LinkedIn page, where you could find more information on many private equity topics. Thanks, and we'll see you in our next video.